right, everybody. I am gonna do my best Dave impression today and give you some uh, some energy as we're out here on the water. And we're gonna give you the long-awaited speed trials. Uh, we've been trying to get the boat to as close to final as possible before we do this. Just to give you some uh, insight on what's going on. Basically, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna run through a whole stack of batteries. So right now, we're starting out with 12 volt. Uh, Phones. You can see we're about 13.5 volts right now. Um, and you can see we've got our Garmin set up here. And uh, Yak Attack was kind enough to hook us up with the uh, with the fish finder mount that we were able to put on the lock and load base on one of our delete plates. So we were able to mount this for you so you can see the, uh, the GPS data. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and start. I found a sheltered little cove out of the wind here. We're just gonna do full speed at 12. get to here. Three two, three six, three seven, three eight. I'm gonna turn a little bit here, we're running out of room. Yeah, so right about um yeah, so right about 3538 at 12. Um, so like we said at the beginning, if you run a 12 volt battery, we really don't recommend it, um, but you can. You can throw a 12 volt here and you can cruise around. Um, what's really crazy is the wattage draw at 12 volts. We're pulling, you know, that was almost four miles an hour there, three and a half, 3.8, somewhere like that, cruising along. And uh, at that consumption, uh, we're only pulling somewhere in the range of, you know, maybe 150 watts. Uh, so by comparison, I mean, that's pretty much what a, what a typical trolling motor would get you. But instead of drawing five or 600 watts, we're only drawing 150. So that multiplies your runtime, or it makes it to where you can use a much tinier battery. So one of the interesting things we've noticed is because that watt draw is so low at 12, that basically means if you're running a big 36 or something under your seat, you could literally have just a tiny little 12 volt RC pack and it would theoretically push this boat for a couple of hours at you know three and a half, something like that. So it's a neat little feature. Again, if you just want a cruising boat, you just want to get out to your local pond, go cruise around. This is definitely faster than paddling. It's nice and quiet, works great no big deal but uh, that's just the start so now we're gonna swing back in and go for the next test here all right everybody for our next test we're committing absolute sacrilege look at what we did it's an abomination just for you okay so for our next test we wanted to give you something for comparison so we have selected a non-specific off-the-shelf 24 volt oh, little touchy these things uh, off the shelf 24 volt outboard brushless electric motor to give you a baseline comparison so we are going to do the exact same test first we'll do it with that motor and then we'll lift that up and then we'll do a test with ours so the trick is we don't have steering set up so I'm gonna have to use the jet to maneuver and then we're going to get a, uh, a baseline speed from unsaid 24 volt motor. Okay, engage. Bit of a delay. Ours is a little spicier. It kind of just does what you ask. Okay. A little bit of cavitation feels like. We're only getting about four two. Do a little jet maneuver here. Sorry, James. Outboards. Oh no. <laughs> that didn't go great. Okay, let's get us out here. We're gonna have to do a little bit of shenanigans here. I don't know how you guys do it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how you do it. For our next test, we're gonna wipe, run wide open, 24 volt. We've got a setup here today with an off the shelf, 24 volt brushless motor uh, outboard so that we can do a head to head, one to one comparison for you. So you'll see here, do a quick shot. 26 
bolts. And we are going to get ourselves in a straight line here and we are gonna go just full out. Let's see what we get. This motor I know from testing draws about between five and 600 watts, something like that. Getting about, be careful of ropes. But yeah, four, three, four, four. Shut this one down. Back to jet drive. Okay. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to take that motor and we are gonna keep it on board, but we're gonna I don't have a way to lift it up, so we're just gonna set it in the back of the boat so we have exactly the same weight distribution and everything. And we'll rerun that exact same test as we just did with the outboard, and we'll see how it does. All right, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little traumatized. Outboards, I don't know how you guys deal with this. Oh, so much better. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're just gonna run the same spot. Same, same, Let's see what we get. Four six, four eight, four point eight nine, point nine two, nine four, nine three. Yeah, almost five. Uh, we're pulling right about 700, so we're pulling just a little bit more wattage. Uh, but you can see it's you know, 4.8, 4.9, 24 volts, 700 watts. You know, 24 volts. It's a uh, pretty happy little boat, very efficient. You know, nothing big, 491. And we're back here completely out of the wind, so this is flat, calm, no tail with. You can see the wind actually died down a little bit from that last test, so, you know. Overall, it's pretty great. I mean, at 24 volt, uh, nothing to complain about. If you got a 24, you're cruising along, you know, four, between four and a half to five miles an hour, 750 watt draw, it's pretty good. I think as far as anything that's out there, um, that's gonna be right in line. Um, except with the difference of extreme maneuverability, extreme stability because you notice I can just go full hard and there is no imparted roll with this drive and the other thing is you'll see here I'm going to take you on a little drive where where no outboard can go which is just basically anywhere there's water it doesn't even matter I can drive all the way right up to the shoreline it doesn't matter if there's weeds I don't care if there's a log here I'm just driving where I want to go you cannot do this with the thing sitting in the back right now. I can tell you that much right now. So even though it's pretty much apples to apples, not nah, really. Go for a hard flat turn. Spin right in place. Literally not even moving. We're just zero point right on station and go nothing to it make it easy that's what we're here for On to the next one. 
Yeah, so one thing worth mentioning too is that everything is pretty much finalized on this boat. You notice we're driving the blue one today, and it's got pretty much all the upgrades in it. Uh, what still is outstanding is really firmware tweaks. There's still a couple little things. The surface finish on a couple of the parts isn't exactly what the production ones will be, so there's still room for improvement. I think we can still squeeze a little more out with the time we have left and get a little better than these numbers, but at least this will give you a pretty solid idea of, uh, of what we're looking at and what you can expect with all the different options you can put in this boat.